everybody, welcome back for another video from the Pixar Cars Character Encyclopedia. With a little difference today, there is no encyclopedia yet for Cars 3, so what I did was I downloaded a page from the wiki page, and I'm going to tell you all about our next character we're going to unbox today. It's called Sterling. He's in a double pack here with Cruz Ramirez, but we're going to talk about Sterling today. But first, let's see how we got there. When Lightning was in Radiator Springs recovering from his massive accident, Sally convinced Lightning to go back to racing and finish his legacy. So Lightning got repainted by Ramon in his Rusty's colors and headed off to Rusty and Dusty's. But guess what? When he got there, he found out that Rusty and Dusty sold their medicated bumper cream business to Sterling. So let's unbox Sterling right now. Okay, we'll put Cruise Ramirez away for another day. We already did other, other cruises, but this is Sterling. Let's see what it says about Sterling. Sterling is a brilliant business car who runs Rusty's Racing Center. He's all business, and he's one of the most successful elite training facilities in the country. Despite his dapper appearance and obvious wealth, Sterling comes across as unassuming and laid back. But business is business, and Sterling is driven to ensure all of his investments pay off. Now, if you saw Cars 3, you saw that Sterling was already planning for Lightning's retirement. Remember that? He had all these lines of clothing set up and all kinds of different endorsements that Lightning was going to do in his retirement. And Lightning was going to have no part of that. He wanted to race. In the meantime, Rusty Dusty sold their business for billions and they're living happily ever after somewhere. Sterling presents himself as a friendly and considerate person, his main concern is that his business ventures are successful. He approaches problems in terms of financial gain and doesn't get involved at the personal level. His charm appears to be a facade to maintain a friendly relation with his clients. This is shown chiefly when Sterling introduces himself to McQueen as a fan, but later appears more concerned about McQueen's brand than McQueen's desires. That's what's going on, see? You can't trust him. Sterling is shown to become very severe if his subordinates do not follow through his planning as shown by his anger when Cruz steps out of line. Nonetheless, since he puts business before everything, Sterling quickly changes his tone when Cruz goes from disobeying orders to winning the Florida 500. Aha! Uh -huh. Now if you saw Cars 3, you know what I'm talking about, but here's the funny thing. At the end of the movie, Tex Dynaco makes an offer and buys Rusty's training center from Sterling and that's where Cruz goes and gets her paint job. Dinah, she now becomes the voice of Dinaco. Dinaco, Cruz and Mirrors. Sterling is no longer in the movie. So there you have it folks, the complete story of Sterling from Pixar Cars 3. Another episode from the Disney Pixar Cars character encyclopedia. Thanks for watching folks, I hope you liked this little video of Sterling and tomorrow or the next day we'll do a complete unboxing of Cruiser Mirrors. Which we'll, he's half out now but we'll finish that, look at the wheels, we'll finish that off next time. Thanks again for watching and have a great day!